That thing is nasty. Yeah, que paso? Good morning, folks, and welcome back to the TRF Tournament Trail. I'm back with Clark, my high school partner. It's going to be a good time. We were out here on Lake Belton, and the last time we fished here on Lake Belton, I won the thing. So we're going to hope, uh, hope for a new PB smallmouth. If not, we're going to win the tournament, and we'll see you guys when we catch some fish. Got one. He's small. He feels really small. Also, there wasn't any... Nope, we got off. <laughs> you sure it was there? Yeah. It was on for like a split second, and then it was gone. Yeah. Mega small. Oh, got him, big one. Oh, I mean, the net is so unaccessible right now. I don't even know where the net is. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. Is that a smallie? Yeah. That's a smallie. Small we wow. Well done, Clark. Look at that, first keeper. All right, we'll take it. Stick that sucker in there. But hey, yeah, folks, we gotta show you what's going on here. Hey, yeah, look at this, we nice, got a nice Cisco here. <laughs> that guy, that's freshly eaten, the tail's not even. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. that is a nice size shad. Well, looking at that, at the size of that shad and the color, you can't tell me hey, that's not similar. Pretty good. He ate it like out off quite a way. Okay. I was coming up toward the boat. Oh yeah, you were. You're right. Hey y'all, yes I do. Oh, where'd he go? He popped off. Really? What the heck? Yeah. How big was he? I mean, looked very small. Up on the bank? Yeah, he was off that bush. I don't know how he popped off. Look at that sunrise. Folks, this is why we do what we do. We get up this morning, five o'clock, to get out here and see that ah, sunrise and catch a fish. Okay. I'm gonna get that net ready for later though, because... You might be bigger than I thought. All right, and I'll get it ready now. Oh, no, or not. That's okay, we got the net for later. A pair of pliers are in here. So the deal about this lake here in Central Texas called Lake Belton is that it is one of the lakes, a few lakes around here that has smallmouth bass. And usually, as you saw by my PB video quite a few years ago, uh, it has some big ones in it. But right now, in the past few years, it's shown that the winning bags come with either all largemouth or a mixture of the two. So that's what we're shooting for, is big largies with maybe a big smallie mixed in. Oh, that a fish? Okay. I did get me a nice stick though. So yeah, that's the plan. Largies, catching them. Gotta catch them all. Got them? The 3XD is killing it though. You got any more 3XDs? That's a better fish. The 3XD right now is killing the game. How big are you talking? Right. No, he's not that big. He might keep though. Oh man, no. you got his mouth open. You are killing it though. He looked better. Yeah. He felt better. He just had his mouth propped open. Do <laughs> uh, you think they want it though? Yeah. He got, th what, two hooks on him? So usually in this scenario, boys and girls, when someone you're fishing with is catching your, out fishing you five to zero, or four, four or five to zero, something like that, you uh, usually switch to their lure, but only one keeper so far to zero. So until he starts catching more keepers, I will not switch. But if you're just fun fishing with your buddy and he's smoking you, go ahead and give it the old switch. There's a fish. Yeah. No, not a fish. Never mind. It was a stick. While you're getting there, I'm gonna open this wall, wall Walmart water burger bag and see what you got. Well, there's some hash browns. Oh, really? Yeah. Hash browns. Money. Thank you, pickle. That is not a bass. <laughs> Hey there, little bud. <laughs> oh man, what is that? A blue or, or it's a flathead? A flathead? I didn't think those existed in the lake. <laughs> I got it. I get the chill one. I think I got. Nah, I don't know. Regardless, I have a fish on the Alabama rig. 
I think I got him weirdly hooked. Yeah. Is that a small mouth? He might actually. He might keep. I don't think so. I got three hooks in him. Quite a bit inside, wasn't it? Let's see what we got. Ayo, hey he's a keeper. Is he? Let's go. All right. 14 inches. Get in that box, boy. Probably that other one's dead too. No, he's doing great. Two. We got two fish, folks. All right, we're putting together a pattern. Now. That's two keepers. From got them. Yeah. Yep. On the A rig. Oh. Skinny. Oh. He'll keep. <laughs> yeah. I highly doubt it. This thing is like sick. It's a sickly fish. You're probably right. Oh, 13 and a half. See you, bud. Really? I mean, oh, so gosh. wow. <laughs> Came backwards at me. What? Yeah, big. Digging? Really? Yeah. How big? Big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll take that. Where do you go? Yes! Oh, 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 oh. That's a good smallmouth, dude. If he wasn't only so skinny. Yeah. Wow, good one, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I he, thought it was close. He popped off. That's a good smallmouth. That's a three. Yeah. Heck yeah. Look at that first cast. Yeah. Good stuff. In the clear spot. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's good stuff. All right. As I was tying back on a crankbait, I'm going to tie one on that's similar to what you have. There is hope. There is hope in the universe for us. So the one tip that I can give you guys, especially tournament fishermen, is that when you do not know what they're riding on, don't keep throwing the same stuff. You gotta try all sorts of different lures until you find out what these fish are keyed in on. Or else you're gonna waste a lot of time fishing lures that maybe you have confidence in, but the fish are not biting it as well as they might bite something else. So you wanna be switching at a fairly rapid pace until you find it. Got him? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Right here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if he'll keep. It is a smally pattern though. We are. Oh, I think he'll make it, man. He might make 14. I'm not proud to have him though. No, I need to Will it be keeper number four? Sure yes, will. all right. So Clark just had his second fish eat on the outside. There was a largemouth on the outside color line. So I'm taking the Alabama rig. I'm gonna work the outside while he works the inside. It's all about strategery, as the great George W. Bush says. Only got one left. There's a fish. Yeah. Oh, hey, no. See you, bud. I'll let you get off. That one, that one. I don't know. It doesn't feel small, but us is not fighting like that big. Yeah, it's gotta be little. Yep. Get off there, buddy. Oh. Little guy. On the crank. Crank bite. Mid-afternoon update for you guys. We are sitting here with four keepers in the box. So we are trying to figure out exactly what these fish are doing, but it is proving difficult because the water clarity differs vastly from different sections of the lake. Uh, there's not really the exact same type of channel swings we're finding in other places. So we are hoping that we can figure out some sort of pattern in the last few hours of today's tournament. We'll see you guys later. Oh gosh, there's a fish. At the trolling letter. At the trolling letter. I don't know. Nope. Large mouth. Is it? Yeah. Nope. Itsy bitsy buddy. We are back to the location which we first started this morning. We said, you know what, we're back up in this area, so we are going to pick it apart with some shaky heads, some finesse jigs, and see if these fish are still here. Got him. Got him. Good one? Yeah, nope. Yeah, yep. Okay. That's a five, brother. That is five. Number five in Woo the boat. I don't know, he'll be close, man. Yeah. He'll be close. I originally thought he was much larger than he was. Oh no! Wait! Wait! 
All right, fish, chill. His mouth pinches. T yeah. Is he brought? Yeah. Oh, brush. No. I mean, if you close the mouth, it's a no. But if you if you leave the mouth open. <laughs> Find a way. <laughs> Man. 13 three quarters. Ah. That's okay. You know, we'll get them. How are we feeling, Clark? Well, um, we're not feeling real good about our chances to win it, but Wayne thinks we have 18 pounds and he looked like I shot his puppy, so I feel great about that. So we're just sitting here at the kind of near the ramp at our last spot of the day, and our buddy Wayne pulls up and we tell him, like, oh yeah, we got 18 pounds on the on of smallies on the A-rig. And he's like, oh man, I talked to somebody else and they have 18 pounds on the A-rig. So he thinks we're telling the truth. We we got five fish for what? Eight, nine pounds. Eight, nine pounds, so we'll see you all the way in. There you go. Oh yeah. That's there cool. it is. Bring him here. Oh yeah. Y'all got a good decent sack. Eleven ninety nine. 11.99. Yes, sir. About the price of all my jerk baits. 12.38. Yeah. All right. Can we get a picture real quick? Yeah. That's the new leaders right there. 12.38. Tell me about it, Mitch. Uh, we got biggins. 9.06. <laughs> there you go. Look at that one. Heck yeah. There you go. Here we go, folks. What are we thinking? Third place. All right, well folks, hopefully the wind isn't too bad. I'm gonna end the video here. Actually, I'm gonna end the video back at the house where I talk about the gear I use in today's video to catch these fish and kind of how Clark caught his big ones as well. It was definitely a fun day, not the most successful in terms of fishing days, but we'll see you guys back at the house. So it's a little bit windy and rainy, so I'm gonna keep the camera inside, but I wanna take just one quick second to go over the gear that I was using in today's video to catch these fish. So one of the techniques that I'm really trying to master, or at least get a lot better at this off season, and by off season I mean like, you know, December, January, when I don't have tournaments and you guys up north don't even have open water, uh, is the Alabama rig. And this rig of course is banned in most tournament leagues, but it is still an awesome technique to catch fish when you're fun fishing. Uh, that's because, look at this, it, it's five lures. The people of course always think, oh, the A rig is cheating because you have five lures on there, so of course it's easier to catch fish. But I've actually found it to be quite the opposite. Unless you really know what you're doing, the Alabama rig is a hard technique. And so uh, the rod and reel that I'm using for this is the Luz, I believe it's the Super Duty 3. It's a very specific rod for the Alabama rig. It is a 711 heavy action with the wind grips. And then on that, I have the Luz Pro TI. You don't need the Pro TI to throw the A rig, but it is super strong, holds a lot of line on it as well. And I'm throwing that on 65 pound braid. Now I've been told by many people that I don't need braid, I need 20 pound mono, so I'm gonna be incorporating that into my arsenal as well, trying that out. Uh, and besides the air rig that I caught a few fish on, I caught a few on the Luz Custom Speed Stick Crankbait Rod 1. Now this is one of my favorite crankbait rods because I can throw anything from sh very, very shallow divers to square bills. I even found a 6XD on this rod before, and so it is a very, very versatile seven foot two medium action crankbait rod with, of course, the BB1 Pro uh, speed spool. So I had that on some 15 pound fluorocarbon or 12, I believe 12 pound fluorocarbon is what it feels like. And uh, that's kind of the gear that I was using. Clark was using a very similar combo as well with his crankbaits. And uh, that's basically it. We had kind of two patterns running. We had one pattern, which was a more shallow uh, sloping bank with the crankbaits and the A-rigs. And then we had the deeper banks as well that we were really keying in on clear water. Now, if you could find a mixture of dirty water and clear water in the same stretch of bank, that's exactly where we caught our bigger fish. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you will not want to miss the next episode right here on this channel. We'll see you guys in a few days. See ya. Don't it. Don't jump on the Whataburger. Hey, I won't. They do a little leapfrog. Okay. God. Yeah, we're good. Hey, we're good. It's just a G. Lewis. <laughs>